Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my um, sheet mask empties. And these are the sheet masks that I've used for the months of September and October. Um, I've been a little slacking on the sheet mask, so I don't have a whole lot um, compared to what I normally would have. Um, normally this would be like for one month, but these are just for September and October. And um, I thought I would first, um, I'm going to be demoing a sheet mask. This is a sheet mask that was sent to me through Optoly from Sawaso, which I'm pretty excited to be um, demoing this um, sheet mask um, from this brand because it's a very expensive brand. This is kind of like um, La Mer would be for American skincare. This is like, this is... Um, this is Korean. I think it's Korean. This is like a high end, yes, Korean um, skincare brand. Um, it's made by a more Pacific. Anyway, so like this, this sheet mask alone, just one is thirteen dollars. So yeah, they're they're expensive. But anyway, we're going to get into this here in just a moment. Actually, we're going to kind of put this on here. Um, and also, I kind of want to kind of explain where I've been the last couple of months because I haven't been putting up a whole lot of content. And there's there's some reasoning um, behind that. I was going to kind of talk about it when all of it kind of started happening. But I didn't um, because I, I was kind of afraid to. I was scared. I was scared. I'm going to be honest with you. I was scared be until I got my test results back. Um, because I, I, to be honest with you, if they were not favorable, I wasn't going to get on here and tell you guys the results, um, if they were not good. Um, probably was just going to just completely disappear <laughs> from Facebook to be, or, um, YouTube to be honest with you. But anyway, okay, so. Uh, let's let's get this mask on first and then I'll, I'll kind of go into what's been going on with my family with my health with my son's health um, what's been going on gosh uh, for the last couple of months because I think I've only put up just a few videos but I'm gonna have a whole bunch of videos because I'm gonna have this video I got my October empties video I've got some haul videos gosh I have the Ulta 20% off video Sephora video because you know that's 20% off going on right now um, Beautylish did their um, gift card event video or event I have a video for that so I have like haul palooza coming up I have just also my stuff that I bought during the month of October I have some st stuff normally when I do my empties I um, put um, declutter stuff in there gosh I need to get this mask on I need to get this mask on then I can talk about all this stuff oh <sighs> okay so wise brightening sheet mask um, it's Fermented with white ginseng, which is what really made me interested in this because I really like ginseng for brightening and for anti-aging. I think it's really good. It helps with um, brightening and clearing the complexion. Um, it's drenched in the Snow Wise Brightening Serum. It's supposed to help brighten for noticeably clearer complexion after a single use. Uh, through two weeks of uh, formation with white ginseng extract, this advanced biocellular loose mask locks in moisture and key brightening ingredients for a long-lasting effect. Made from a material 500 times denser than regular pulp mask, this ultra-fine mask adheres comfortably, sticks to your face like second skin, while its power brightening formula quickly absorbs. And then it says how to use. Um, use up to twice weekly after applying the Snow Wise Brightening Water. Now, this is where I was kind of disappointed in, in Octoly because this was kind of misleading because I don't know if you'll be able to see on my phone. Probably not because there's going to be a glare. But anyway, it has the, the sheet mask pictured and then here it has like a little bottle. 
So it made me believe that there was going to be the sheet mask and then there was also going to be like this brightening water that was going to come with the sheet mask. And I knew it wasn't going to be like a full size of the, the brightening water, but I figured it'd be like a little sample size that would go with the sheet mask, but it wasn't. It was just the sheet mask. So I don't have the brightening water to go with this. Um, so I don't, I don't understand that. Um, yeah, it says use up to twice weekly after applying the Snow Wise brightening water. So I don't have the brightening water to go with it. So does that mean that it's not going to be as effective without the brightening water? What is the brightening water? I don't know. But anyway, it says to leave on for 20 minutes. So I've already done my um, my morning skincare. What is that dot? What is that dot? Is that just the glare from there? Or is there actually dot? <laughs> It's been so long since I filmed. I don't know if there's something on my lens. Is there something on my lens? I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check that out. I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm going to check that out. Make sure there's not something on my lens that is making that dot. Can y'all see that dot? I'm going to get... It's kind of like right there where my light is at, but I can see it on my... Okay, let's put this on, and then I'll stop, and I'll check that out. So I'm going to open it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, it looks like it has, like, the creamy essence here. So how I like to do... Oh, this kind of smells good. How I like to do with any sheet mask that I do is I always stick my fingers in there and put some on my hand and I like to wet my face with the serum or the essence, whatever you want to call it, just to kind of get my face a, um, a little wet so that the mask can kind of um, have something to adhere to. So this is how I do with any kind of sheet mask that I do is I just like to prep my skin with a little bit of the serum that's in the bag already. So I'm going to do this. It smells kind of medicinal. That's kind of how it smells to me. All right, so now we're going to pull out the mask. And let's see. So it looks like there's a little bit of the... Um, essence or serum still in the bag but not a whole lot now it does have it looks like a mesh type lining on it then i have to pull off of there is it front and back let's see and i don't do it <laughs> the way they tell you to do it like okay here's one of them and then they want you to like Put it on your face like this and then peel the other one off. I never have any luck doing that with any of them. So I'm just going to peel both of them off. And then I get it all jumbled up like that. <laughs> Which that happens with all of my masks. This is really drippy. And then I'm just going to position it onto my face. And we'll see how well it adheres. I have a mirror right here that I'm looking at. It has, it's very saturated, that is for sure. It's very, 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 very drippy. Mm. I like the way that it feels, and it is actually fitting pretty good onto the face. Okay, so I've got that on. I'm just going to take what's left on my hands here and rub it down onto my neck. Normally I would have 
my gown on that is sleeveless and I just rub all this onto my hands and onto my arms and onto my shoulders, whatever skin is exposed. If I needed more, if I had more on my hands or whatever, I would put it on my legs. I would put it anywhere and everywhere that I needed to to get all of this essence serum um, put somewhere. And then when I take these off, if they're not dried, <clears throat> that's what I do with them. I rub this, I will take this and it would be in a ball and I just rub it all over my legs and my feet. I just put it everywhere. <clears throat> so yeah, so there is what that looks like. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying, normally when I do my empties, I'll put a couple things in at the end as a declutter, but I've gone through like my lipsticks and my lip glosses and I have decluttered quite a bit. And so then I went through a bunch of other stuff. So I have quite a bit of stuff that's going to be too much to put in my empty. So I'm going to do a separate video that's going to be declutter. So I'm going to have a declutter video, my October empties video, an Ulta haul video, a Sephora haul video, my Beautylish um, gift card event video, October haul video. Um, I'm also thinking about doing um, products that I regret buying because I have some of those that I want to do. Um, so I have like seven or eight videos that I want to do that I've been wanting to do, um, but I just haven't felt like, I just haven't been up to par with doing and for one reason or another oh my gosh we're already 12 minutes in and i haven't even started on talking about any of these sheet masks okay um from leaders i have a lobotica lobotica honey skin sheet mask i like anything that is honey so I did like this. This was sent to me from my friend Annie. She sent me, she was so nice. She sent me a whole box of sheet mask about a couple months ago, actually. I think toward the end of August, which was so nice of her. So thank you so much, Annie, for doing that. I really, really do appreciate it. And I never tried this one from sheet, uh, from Leaders, and I did like it. I like anything from Leaders. So this was a good one. From Mediheal, um, the Abalone Protini Mask. <clears throat> and um, I had two of those that she sent to me. I do like this. This one is good for brightening, I do believe. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm from the pearl. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, yes emollient holding system for brightening and moisturization. I had two of those that I used. <coughs> now I'm going to get a frog. This one was, oh gosh, what was this one? The Bling Pop. This was moisturizing, moisturizing the Glacier. <laughs> this was fun. I liked that one. It had a cute little um, graphics on there. It was really nice. Here's another one from that same brand um, from Leaders. Labatisha? I don't know how to say that, but this was another moisturizing one. And this was coconut here that I had that she sent me that I enjoyed using. Another one from Metaheal. And this was the Protini Mask. And this had the Swiftlet Nest Extract in it, which was really good. I liked any of these from Mediheal. They're all good. Here's another one from Bling Pop. And this was the Peach. And this was for firming and brightening. I liked these to use of the morning as part of my morning um, skincare regime to do before I did the makeup. So I liked those. Here's another Mediheal. And this was the Dress Code Violet. And this one was a um, like an eye mask. And it was like brightening here. I liked it because it did the whole eye area. 
that one was good. And then this one is um, Skin 79, the Soul Girls Beauty Secret Mask. Again, this was another good one to use of the morning as a part of my skincare, morning time skincare regime. The Mediheal Tea Tree Care Solution. This came in handy because I was having some issues with some um, skin issues on my face. So tea tree masks are always good to have in your collection just to have on hand just in case you have some of those um, skin reactions or some just if your skin is acting up tea tree is really good to have on hand oh rice i love the ones that are rice and this is from um again that leaders i guess i don't know how to pronounce that but this had the rice ferment extract for brightening and dead skin cell removal another one of those I liked those I liked that brand this one came from um, Trader Joe's when I went to Trader Joe's this was the rich hydrating face sheet mask I didn't this was cucumber I didn't really care for this I didn't care for the fit if you had a long um, maybe oval face it would fit okay but if you have a round face like mine it did not fit it would, I didn't like it and I'm, I'm glad I only purchased I think I purchased three or four of them I didn't do a whole lot of them and I'm glad I didn't as far as the hydrating part of it it was okay it was fairly decent but um, I just didn't like the fit of it so then I had another one of these this is from um, collagen youth island firming and repair by Royale Beauty Lab. And I'm not for sure where I got this. I don't know if this came in my um, my pink sew box or if Annie sent this to me. I don't remember, but I had that one. Here's another one from Leaders, and this was the um, anti-aging treatment mask. Which is this one here. Um, a pumpkin mask. This was really nice. Like anything pumpkin. This one I know was from Annie. Pretty sure. Another one from um, Leaders in that I don't know how to say that. Uh, anyway, this was a hibiscus and this was for um, nourishing revitalizing. That one there. And here's another one from Leaders, and this is the Amino Moisture Mask. You can't go wrong with Leaders. If you're new to masking and you don't know where to start, get Leaders. Leaders are always a good brand to do. Leaders, Mediheal, Pop Recipe. Can't go wrong. Um, this is another one of the Skin 79 So Girls Beauty Secret Mask. Packaging is just super cute on those. And then I have um, last a um, Tony Moly I'm Rose sheet mask right there. So those were the sheet masks that I used for the months of September and October. So anyway, so where have I kind of been? Well, we'll come, let's see where are we at on time. All right. Um, for the month of September, I was having some major, major, major medical problems. Um, not mental medical problems like I normally do, but um, some physical um, that landed me in the emergency room about the middle of September. Um, I had ended up having to have blood transfusion and I went on a Sunday, went to see a specialist on a Tuesday. Sunday is an emergency room, Tuesday to a specialist, the following Friday has surgery and they did a bunch of biopsies. I had some polyps, I had um, fibroids, um, they did a bunch of, took out a bunch of scar tissue, um, cyst. Anyway, sent all of that off. Um, spent two weeks, you know, waiting for all of that to come back. Um, basically, we didn't know if I had uterine cancer or if I had ovarian cancer. Um, a lot of the signs 
the indicators were very high up there to indicate that I had cancer. And um, thankfully, um, everything came back benign. There was no sign of cancer, so I um, did not have cancer and um, didn't know then if I was going to have to have um, hysterectomy, if I was going to have to have full hysterectomy, partial hysterectomy, what was going on. But um, as it turned out, they felt like that the polyps and the cyst and the scar tissue was what was causing all of my um, issues and that by removing all of that, that that should take care of my problems. And um, so um, we've decided not to move forward with any other type of surgery. I'm going to wait six months and go back and um, make sure that my uterus hasn't continued to grow. Um, a normal uterus for a woman my age measures around a seven. Mine is measuring at a 14, which is double the size what it should be. Um, but he says as long as it doesn't continue to grow, he thinks it'll be okay. <clears throat> but if I go back in six months, <clears throat> my mask is slipping as I'm talking, but um, if it grows or has grown, then I would probably have to have a partial hysterectomy which I really don't want to, but anyway, <clears throat> so I had that going on. So that was pretty nerve wracking. Um, then a week after I had my surgery, my son had to have back surgery and um, I keep his children, I babysit his children, both of them on Mondays and then the other four days his eight-month-old the two-year-old goes to um, Early Learning Center where his mom works at the hospital so he's not been able to lift and so um, I've been having to keep the eight-month-old a little bit longer during the day because he's not able to lift and and carry him so I've been having to keep the eight month old later in the day until his mom gets off work which is not until seven o'clock in the evening time so that kind of take cuts into my filming time so that's kind of the reason why I haven't been filming <laughs> plus I haven't felt good plus I'm tired um, it's taken me a long time to recoup from losing so much blood and having to get the tr blood transfusion and just not having the energy. And then exactly four weeks from being in the emergency room, I get the stomach bug, of course, and then it kind of coursed all the way through my whole family. Um, I got it, three days later my husband got it, three days later my son got it, and then my daughter and then her children. So for the whole month of September, the whole month of October, it's just been, I was in the hospital, my son was in the hospital, I had surgery, he had surgery, stomach bugs, everywhere. So there just hasn't, there hasn't been time for me to sit here and film for one thing. Plus I haven't, I haven't felt good. I just haven't felt good and plus, when you get <clears throat> down physically and you suffer from mental illness, it really affects your mental illness also. So I try not to cry. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this mask. Um, as long as you're not talking, it stays on pretty good. <laughs> if you um, start to talk, it wants to slide. But it does adhere pretty good. Um, the only thing about these kind of masks, I, and I don't know if it's because I have, I don't think I have a bigger area right here than most people, but there's just not enough. See, it's like really thin right there. I didn't even cover this whole area. But anyway, 
And I did not look at the time to see how long I've had this on. I don't think I've had it on for 20 minutes. And this part right here kind of slid too. Now if I was just laying back and relaxing and watching TV or reading my book like I normally do or what I normally, normally do is I normally have on my little sheet mask protector is what I normally have on, which is this right here that holds them in place. <clears throat> and you can get these on Amazon. That normally holds them. This is what I normally wear. Plus it keeps them from drying out. Whoops, especially if you've got um, your heat running, which is what we do right now. It really helps to keep them from drying out. So anyway, I'm going to leave this on for the next 10 or 15 minutes because this thing was expensive. I don't want to waste the, um, the juice on it. So that was the Sawaso Snow Wise Brightening Mask. Um, again, I'm a little di disappointed that I didn't have the whatever it was that was supposed to went with it. The Snow Wise Brightening Water. <clears throat> must, let's look up that Snow Wise Brightening Water and see. <clears throat> how much that stuff is. Oh yeah, the Snow Wise Brightening Water is $63. And what is that? Kind of like an essence. Yeah, it's, it's basically an essence is what it is. But you can get it on Beautylish, <clears throat> but it's $63. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm sure it works just as well <laughs> without the essence water, <laughs> the brightening water. No wonder they didn't send me the brightening water. <clears throat> anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have enjoyed. And um, gosh, I hope I'm going to get all those videos I just talked about recorded. That is my plan today. Today is Sunday, November the 3rd. I have a lot of videos I want to get recorded today. Plus, I'm going to be making a big old pot of stew. That's my next chore is to get the stew meat started. By the way, if you make stew, do you actually use stew meat or do you do hamburger? I grew up when we made stew, my mom made stew, it was with stew. Stew meat, not hamburger. And that is a process. I mean, you have to cut it up. You have to trim all the fat off of it. You dice it up. You um, dredge it in flour. You um, brown it. And then you have to simmer it for like a couple hours to get it nice and tender before you put in all your vegetables. And it's, it's like an all day process. It's not like really, really quick on making stew. This is going to be like an all day thing. So I got up early this morning so I could get that started. Which of course I had to go to the store and get the stuff to make the stew. But anyway, so... I hope you enjoyed and I will be talking to you soon.